Good morning. Got a toast. Take it. Really thinking the truck was going to get wet, but whoever installed them sprinklers didn't let it go too much past, did it? Got a ankle breaker and and <laughs> fan that's seen a little bit better days. Um, That right there looks, uh, that looks like fun. Until it's not, that is. Got a grill. Some metal boxes, kinda like those. At least we're getting the grill early this morning. I'd call that not a bad start. Somebody bought a lot of guns. So we have here today. Got some car radios, disc changers, an amp, a computer. <laughs> yeah. We'll take all this stuff, won't we? Somebody's been in that amp too. There you go. I'll take this apart. That's going to be extruded aluminum. Uh, that's pretty good chunk there for for it. Computer has to be broke apart. Hey, you like how dirty that is? It's complete too. See what else we got. Do we got another Christmas tree? Nope. Uh, might do it. There's the keyboard.
as a printer. Alright, I think we're good, homeward and forward. It's a grill type of day, I guess. Make sure they didn't push the other half. Okay. Alright, it's not too shabby really. I uh, just picked up a PlayStation off the side of the road. Uh, the, the owners were home and uh, they did not want to be recorded and I'm fine with that. So um, I picked up uh, like a tour part uh, VHS player, um, some bed rails and then the PlayStation. Um, I'll get the, the VHS player, I'll tear it apart. but. Uh, I'm actually about to head to the house. Uh, it's a bit early, but I'm gonna get the back of the truck cleaned off. It depends on how full my insulated copper wire is, but we may make a run with that today. And uh, I'll, if not, uh, you know, I'll still take the scrap metal. I got it back to the trailer and we'll call it a day. So this is kind of the setup for me doing the wire, putting it as I go in a bucket. as soon as they go in the bucket uh, they go in this bin right here once it gets full then it goes to the scrap yard so it's kind of what I'm gonna be doing for the next probably 30 minutes to an hour and uh, yeah he's be done it's going on the weekend so I don't like my truck having this much on it anyway that's why I got the trailer all right that's what the load looks like wire isn't all the way full up um, but I'll take it this is the air conditioner I had to pick up that I talked about. I also have, this is full of cans, a little bit of copper. This is also full of copper. Um, not processed computers yet, um, but we're going to take this to the scrapyard. See what we get for it. And uh, yeah, go from there. So just going to touch base on the uh, window unit there. Um, I understand that you can tear it apart and get the copper and the copper aluminum radiators and you know and, and all the, the the good stuff out of it if you will however that comes at a penalty or a cost the uh, the cost is is um, if you were to not recover the coolant that's in it and you breathe too much of that that's that could cause you health issues um, also it's not great for the environment for you just to go out and bust one open if you will and I would much rather take my pennies compared to dollars just because I'm doing this more for the environment per se or 
you know, for some spare cash. I'm not looking at going to the hospital or possibly, you know, harming the environment over, say, 20 bucks. You know, I'll just let the scrapyard deal with it. And I understand they're probably going to take a big claw and grab it. It's probably going to bust everywhere or whatever. But I didn't do it. Me personally did not do it. Therefore, I'm not at fault if it happens. So that's just the piece that I think on the air conditioners. And that goes for the, the residential and, you know, big commercial units as well. If, you, if you're not sure that that the uh, you've recovered the cooling out of those, then, uh, then it's best just to kind of get, get your pennies on it instead of, you know, the dollars on that case. Um, I'm not, I'm not too big in the micro scrapping. Uh, I will on certain items, like if there's pretty good copper and of course the, the copper wire, you, you kind of see that and, or the insulated wire. Um, but as far as going after a little piece of aluminum inside of say a circuit board or something, or a little bit of copper spool, um, cost of time is the way I always look at it. If it takes you 30 minutes to get an ounce of copper, what have you gained? Now, if you have time all day, to, and this is the only thing you're doing, yeah, yeah, go for it. Um, but you know, you're, you're talking about making very little an hour on that. Um, electric motors is another thing that I really don't tear apart too much. Um, there again, it's just to me, it's just I'll, I'll get my electric motor price or or you know even ten tread at this point. But yeah, I just wanted to tell you my side of that. Um, just be safe. And I know that you're probably like, yeah, yeah, well, you're not even wearing gloves, but it, gloves to me, you know, and I'll probably get me a decent pair. Um, they only protect you from the minor things. You know, if, if you actually grab, say, a wash machine and you drop it and it's going to slice through the glove and into your hand anyway, or if you're working with a, a knife of sorts, it's not going to protect you 100%, but it may help. So. Um, yeah, I'm just rambling on about stupid stuff, but I will uh, be at the scrapyard pretty soon, actually, so. Man, at least it's, they're saying it's going to be cooling down next week, so. Yeah, been busy? Been busy? That's copper wire, I'll get it off. Plug ins. All right, she's all yours. Makes easy work.
Thank you, Matt. Oh, I ain't. I appreciate it though, for real. All right, I had to get a check today. That's a good thing. Got $123 uh, for that load. Uh, scrap was $480, still nine cents a pound, $43.20. Insulated copper, um, 52 pounds, 75 cents a pound, $39. The copper was uh, $2.50, 13 pounds, $32. Uh, just a little bit of aluminum I brought, so $1.50. The cans were uh, 17 pounds at 40 cent a pound. It's a decent price on cans. Uh, $6.80 uh, with a grand total of $123. Um, it's not a bad payout today. Now, I know that it wasn't all from me, you know, <laughs> picking up off the side of the street, but the truth is, is everything came from junk and would have would have at some point in its life been either on the side of the road or already was so uh thanks for watching uh a few more big payouts like that and you know that's basically a bill to some people it's uh it's not a bad day um i appreciate your time thank you for watching uh hope you join me on the next one peace